Robert, 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 how's it going? <laughs> you, 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 you caught me taking notes. Um, I'm hoping you've had, a, you've had a fantastic week, my man. Um, Denzel, thank you so much for tuning in, my friend. How's it all going? How's it all going? Um, yeah, it's this is a fantastic time of the day, the week, etc., etc. And um, here's one thing. Here's one thing. If this is the first time you're watching this show, um, I welcome you aboard. My name is Prosper Taruvinga, and I want you to know something. I believe that every online business or anybody else that's out there hustling and who's doing something to make their life better should actually have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And I also believe if you're doing that in utmost good faith and you're doing it for the people that you're going to be demanding money off of, you should be creating for them and you should be going out of your way to relate to them. So I want to say good day to you, Scott Farrell. Tell us where you're watching from just so that I know where this audience is all, um, you know, dotted around. All right. So... Now, uh, I don't know how to put this, guys. I'm so excited about what's happening. I'm so excited about what we are creating here. Um, I think if you don't realize, we're actually creating history every single day that we show up and we're sitting together here. Look, Moroni, thank you so much for tuning in. I enjoyed watching your show earlier on. <laughs> Now, now you know the lingo, right? Exactly, yeah. Um, yes, it's people from Zimbabwe that are called Zimbos, all right? So if this is your first time tuning in, um, I'd like to welcome you. I just want you to know that I actually lead a team um, at Leave Long Digital where we actually help small businesses like yourself to um, market, scale, and grow your business um, and um, you know, using digital marketing strategies. So basically what we do at 2 p.m. every single day. <laughs> Look, you've learned the language. I love it. I love it. I love it. Ansley, thank you so much for tuning in, my love. And I hope, um, ah, yeah. And yesterday, if you are watching the show, um, we spoke about how to create your brand using, um, you know, your name or whatever means something to you. And Ansley, went on and created something off of herself. So congratulations to her. If you haven't seen what she's done, um, find out what she went ahead and did. Albert Dunton, thank you so much for tuning in, my friend. So as you would know, every single day at 2 p.m. AEST, Monday to Friday, because over the weekend is family time and I'm also, you know, just relaxing and recuperating. Um, every single day at 2 p.m. AEST, we sit around here for 30 minutes so we can discuss ways to actually help you earn more money with less struggle, all right? And half of the time, you, this is not a sales pitch. We're just really giving you information that you can take on and literally use as soon as it's um, you know, as it's given out, it's yours to use as long as you just give us credit because I want this to be the place you hear about it first, all right? So there's a lot of um, actors out there. There's a lot of marketing people out there. They will be telling you about the latest shiny objects. I really want to dwell on the fundamentals. I really want to dwell on the less, um, you know, spoken about stuff, you know what I mean? But the stuff that actually makes you earn more money with less struggle. There's always a new trick in the house. There's always a new trick every Friday, but it won't work if your base is not set, all right? So today we're gonna to be talking about the basic language of Google. Can somebody write that as an acronym? What is the basic language of Google? Jack Tellman, how's it going, my man? I hope you're having a fantastic day, uh, week, month. It's the beginning of November. Um, would love to hear what you're up to these days. It's always good to catch up with like-minded people. Taf Shamano, thank you so much for tuning in. All right, so today we're talking about the basic language of Google. What does that acronym stand for? Can somebody type it in? The basic language of Google. Does anybody know what that acronym stands for? Basic language of Google. Can somebody type it in? 
You know why? Because that's all we're going to be talking about today. Because at the end of the day, we're here to create for and relate to the audience that we're going to be demanding money off of. All right. So how then can you reach to that audience? How then can you broadcast to that audience? Um, audience and reach out and let them know about your brand or of your existence. All right. Today, we're going to be talking about how to run a kick-ass business blog. People are coming to the internet to get information. And I suppose everybody else right now, you're watching this show right now because you want to get something out of it. That is what your customers are going through as well. They're scrolling through their newsfeed. They're scrolling through the whole of the internet just so that they can get information. But how do you then as a business person provide that information for them so that it's fresh, so that um, it it, it helps you um, stay on top of mind, so that it also helps you become the go-to person within your niche And so that it becomes, um, you know, it drives traffic to your website. How can you position yourself and your brand to become an industry leader without you giving yourself a title that you're a thought leader? How can you develop better custom relationships? By using the basic language of Google. Can somebody write out that acronym? Can somebody write out that acronym that I just spoke about? The basic language of Google. What is that? What does what, 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 what the ac- acronym spell? All right. Once you have that in mind, because you are who Google says you are. Do you know what I mean? It's very impossible these days for a business to be successful without um, or with zero online presence. And look, yes, you've got it. The basic language of Google is a blog. How many of you guys are maintaining a blog? How many of you guys are actually going out there and creating a blog to communicate with your customers? Type in the number one if you've got a relevant blog um, so that maybe we can check it out. Just type in the number one if you actually are maintaining a blog. It doesn't matter what business you own these days. When your target audience is out there looking for information, When your target audience is looking for a certain service or a certain advice, where do they turn to? They Google it, don't they? All right. And also in the days that are coming through, Facebook is also turning into a search engine. That's yet another story. So if you're not putting out content there, if you're not speaking the basic language of Google, you're missing out on a whole lot of traffic that could be coming to your website. All right. I bet you've heard it first. That blog actually stands for the basic language of Google. You know why? Because I made it up. All right. So when people are searching for information, you have to be the person providing that information. All right. And if they don't find you, your competition is out there grabbing them by them. Okay. So how do you get found in all these search results? How do you get found on Google? Simply. You need to be producing high quality content that actually gets your brand out there. You know, and Steve, you can start writing about, first of all, you run a very good product up there, um, you know, in, 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 in Perth. You're running a very good product where you are dealing with first timer people that are going to, to, to the gym. They need to know information about, you know, the basic exercises. They need to know information about nutrition. They need to know information about how to use certain equipment when they do get to the gym or when they come around to yours. Because that's the only way that people get to know you, like you, and then trust you. And people do business with those they know, like, and trust. So the more you put out information there, the more people feel like they belong in and around what it is that you're doing. Quite simply, you need to be producing high quality content that gets your brand out there. You know, because at the end of the day, if you're not putting out content, you have that website. It's fine to just have the one website, but how are people going to find out the latest that's happening without you constantly changing the way your your homepage looks like Ali Madawi how are you going my friend you know do you know what I mean 
And Steve, like you say 100%, I need to stop getting camera shy. I think if you're getting camera shy, uh, Steve, you are being selfish. First of all, people need the information that you have. People need your expertise. People need your knowledge. All right? If you're not giving people that expertise, that knowledge, you're being selfish. And thank you so much, Ali Madai. <laughs> thanks for sharing and thanks for staying up. We still need to do our own piece of content just so that we can expand our audiences. All right? So this is why you need to be creating content even if you have a website, even if you have a Facebook page, of which is no longer relevant these days to have a Facebook page because Facebook is no longer distributing um, you know, page content into the newsfeed. So how else are people getting new information about what you're doing or what's cutting edge in your industry? So in other words, you need a business blog. Yeah? And then you might be asking me, okay, it's a, it's a lot of work. It's, 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 it's too much stuff. Right now, what I'm doing on this 30-minute segment is creating content that would then be taken off of Facebook put onto YouTube, and then I create a blog and embed that video onto YouTube. Have I not created a blog? So there's so many ways that you can do that. You can grab your phone, record yourself to speak, and then get it transcribed. And there's so many apps and so many programs that you can use. So if you don't have a business blog, it just tells your customers that you're lazy. That's if you do have any. So in this show today, I'm going to share with you maybe six or seven uh, strategies for you to run a high impact blog that actually boosts your confidence and your audience so you can get noticed. Yesterday, we talked about how to, to, to create and orchestrate a brand, but how are you going to broadcast it and put it out there? So this is why you need a platform where other people can also write content on your behalf. All right. They can write content so that they can boost themselves because every single business person out there right now is now a media house. All right. So we no longer have to wait until Oprah or Ellen DeGeneres or whoever, you know, the, the, the Saturday Night Live or whatever TV show to put you on. You can put yourself on using your WordPress website. People want to um, get links from your website. People want to be put in front of different audiences. Use your blog to get in front of other people. Do you know what I mean? Your brand isn't what you say it is. It's what Google says it is. So if you're not putting out content there that is being um, indexed by Google every single day or every single week, you are as good as a book that's just been sitting in that shelf for the last five years and hasn't been touched. All right. So don't go out there creating yet another app, yet another or writing yet another book. If you're not putting out content and relevant to what you're doing in that particular, um, you know, you know, you know, moment, because people want to be informed. People want to be entertained. So if you're not doing that, your competition is doing that. But how do you do it? You need to figure out who are you actually writing for? The main reason why people don't write the blog is because they, they are too impatient. They want instant results. But it takes 21 years to be 21 years old. All right. So if you know who exactly you're speaking to, you know exactly what their information palette is. You know exactly what turns them on. You can write to that person specifically. That's why you have to know who your target audience is. And that's the starting point. And when you understand your target audience, it's easier for you to connect with them and try to be specific to them. You know what I mean? So that they, they don't stray or go anywhere else because they're getting that information that they viscerally want from you because they believe that you, 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 you're going to justify their failures, you're going to encourage their dreams, you're going to confirm their suspicions, you're going to ally with their fears, and you're going to throw rocks at their enemies. People are always looking for places to belong. And if you are the person that's providing them with that value, you get messages like what Steve Thompson has just said. Thank you, mate. Thank you very much. There's a lot of value here. Please share this video, Mr. Man. All right. 
visualize your ideal persona and you actually start thinking to yourself, what questions and interests do they actually have? What's frustrating them at the moment? You know, I know right now my ideal client is facing um, maybe one or two of these things. And if I get three things correct, please type in the number one. You know why? Because it makes me actually, you know, confident enough to know that this message is being delivered to a targeted audience. Half of the times, maybe right now you don't have leads. Right now, maybe in your business, you don't have a guaranteed income. Right now in your business, you're, you're studying everything to get ahead. Right now in the business, you don't have a system to follow. Right now in your business, you don't have a process to follow. Right now in your business, you, 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 are, you have no freedom. You're tied to your computer just so that you can fulfill tasks. You're alone and you probably don't have a network. You're struggling to make in, enough income. You're very skeptical about results that are being shown around by people who say, I did this and, oh, I wrote this book and I got $4 million. You're struggling and you're not even making enough income. You know, you really want right now a strong guarantee and, you know, from, from either a coach to, to let you know that exactly what you're doing is right so that you stop inventing mediocrity and yield no results. You are not clear on what your success path is right now. Or you're probably just studying. And you're struggling to attract the right kind of clients. Or you probably are not charging enough for what you're worth. I know the person that I'm talking to right now. You know why? Because I study them. So that's the reason why my content is like there. And I'm just speaking the basic language of Google. Because people are searching for things like this. People are looking for proven solutions. People are looking for proven systems. People want to see positive and, 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 and rave reviews. People want a business transformation. They are tired of one-click wonders. That's the reason why I'm consistent. Capish? Do you know what I mean? So if you understand your customer right about now, what problems, what questions, what interests do they have? What problems are they facing? How can you help them? And then the best part is to actually help them by actually helping them, which is what I do every single day. I'm actually helping you guys. Some people will probably put a curtain on the information that I'm, uh, I'm giving out and then start charging a lot of money. All I'm asking off of you is to sit down with me for 30 minutes and then share the video if, if you find it useful. So if you start understanding your customer right now, and if you start understanding what their needs are, what their problems are, and how you can help, it's easy for you to sit down, write something for them, ship it. And in the process, don't be the person that's just selling. Try not to make your blogs just about selling for the moment and focus on helping your audience. This will set you apart in the market like no other thing. You know? Because once you start having a blog, some people want to put in subliminal messages about wanting to sell in there. A blog is not for making sales. It's to inform, it's to educate, it's to entertain. No one wants to read a blog, you know, that, that, that is constantly repeating the same thing over and over again. Get our product. It's the best. And Robert says, I can spend one and a half hours just to compose a private message. Great. If it's direct, if it's, if it's personalized enough and you've taken in that much time to make sure that you're providing value in that message, that's relevant. So I want you to understand the purpose of writing out and putting out a blog is not to make sales. If you're putting out a blog just about your products, then I think you're missing out the point. You, it, it, it will contribute towards the end. And I'm hoping that I'm speaking to people that really want to create businesses that are profitable and enjoyable. But if you're just there to be a one-click wonder, then maybe this, this information is not relevant for you. The more people that are, 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 are indoctrinated to your message, the more visits that come to your website, one of them would eventually purchase. 
And we all know this. People like buying stuff, but they don't want to be sold to. And Justin says you want to position yourself as the authority. Yes, that's amongst the things that a blog will do. Because not only do you know your stuff, but you're willing to share that information so that you can educate other people and really make them understand that you know what you're talking about. Because it's easy to just put up a, 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 a status on Facebook and think that just because people like it, you're an authority. If you're not putting out real content out there with your own point of view, that Google can actually syndicate to other, um, you know, you know, um, you know, search engines. And if you're not speaking the basic language of Google, then you're not an authority. Because people are coming to read blogs just to get value tips, to get information, and that message will stick with them. So you've got more control if you're putting out content than if you're just, you know, asking for the sale. Because people need to learn something new so they can improve the quality of their life. Their lives, their business, their families, their relationships, or whatever it is that's going um, you know, on in their lives that your product can actually help them serve. So the purpose of your business blog, no matter what industry you're in, just write about things that will make other people's life better. They will continuously share your stuff. That way you now get into different audiences you know, you're answering those questions. So if somebody comes in and has that question, you can just send them a blog so that they read and they get indoctrinated to your, your way of thinking. You need to offer solid advice and issues that are quite related to your niche, though, in those blogs. Don't just go out there and sit there and then just start writing for the sake of writing. All right. So that means you have to create top quality content. Because I don't know if you've seen it. If you search, you know, on Google for, for blogs in your industry or whatever it is that you do, you notice there's, there's a lot of them. There is enough. Justin says, or at least have a polarizing viewpoint that will give a different and unique view. Exactly. The only way you can influence people is if you are aligned to what they think or you oppose a certain view and you stand for something. Because like what Justin says, if you stand for everything, you stand for nothing at all. All right. But if you stand for something, you stand for some and people would v v vouch to want to follow you. You know why? People are always looking for leaders. All right. People are always looking for motivation. People are always looking to be inspired. Why not you? Why not be the person that's putting out the basic language that Google needs and, 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 and provide it for your customers? And they will thank you over and over and over and over again. And the thing about a blog is once it's written, it's written in stone. Nobody would ever delete that. You know? So since you're not, you know, using your blog to actually make direct sales, you shouldn't bother to actually... Um, I mean, I mean, try, try and convince people to buy whatever you have at that current moment. People will seek you out if they find value in what you're offering. Right? And, and, and once you know who your customers are, write in the same language that they understand. And be authentic. Be yourself. You know why? Because you're going to be constantly putting out that information. You know? The best way to, to, to conduct and write a blog is to actually be sharing your own personal journey. Every single time I'm talking about my little girl, I'm talking about what we're doing in the office, I'm talking about things that are actually being you know, taken in by my customers and we're, we, 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 you know, we, we're in the trenches and actually working on that. So if you share your personal journey, people want to know how things are happening, how to do certain things and be the person that's showing them the way. Justin says, I thought of going back to Tumblr as my platform and share from there. I believe the social platform also matters. Justin, okay, things like Tumblr, Yahoo, or whatever. Why don't you just get a proper web WordPress website that you own that is not going to be at the mercy of other um, you know, people? If you if you think you own a platform, because because it's a very fecal thing to 
to grow your audience on a certain platform because this is rented uh, audiences, all right? If people are on Facebook, you don't own that audience. You are renting that audience, same as Tumblr. You know what I mean? Yes, and um, yeah, it, it depends on what people view that um, you know website as. You need to have a proper WordPress um, website or some other solid um, you know platform that is an actual blog creating um, you know uh, site. Because places like Tumblr, once you post it, they also own that content, so it's not yours and it's not properly indexed um, by Google as if it's original content. So if you're really, really serious, my man, let's have a chat. All right. Robert says, oh, I'm in a call with the very person that can set me up for a WordPress site. Do that because then you actually own that platform. All right. And once once you're there, just stay inspired. Share your journey. You know what I mean? People need to know what's happening out there. People need to know they're, um, you know, on, on, on the right track. You know, and once you're on there, um, just just make your content really easy to read. Be understood because people are tired of one click wonders. If you're going to be too rigid and too stiff and too close minded, people haven't got time for that. You know, so, you know, just imagine how these shows would feel like if all I did was talk about myself. There's a lot that I do every single day, but I, I leave you to, to de define that. It's always about the next person, the person who's taking their time to listen, to read. So you want to make it about them. You know? I mean, imagine how these videos would look like if they were um, maybe, I don't know, if, if, if I was just talking in, in gibberish or in my language. You know? Who would want to be watching these videos? Imagine the same sort of content in, in, in maybe in, oh, I don't know, if the video was not clear or the, 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 the sound was not all right. You know, just make it easy for the next person because they are actually doing you a favor by supporting you. So just make sure that you make it easy for them. All right. And if you're writing there, make sure you're writing short and clear sentences Shorter paragraphs, easy to consume because people are now reading from their mobile. Maybe they're just sitting on the toilet and they're looking for something to just distract them from the smell. Just make sure, you know, you've got lists and bullets, you know, dotted things that people can, you know, come back for more to, to your stuff. You know, at, at the end of the day, that, that's all there is. And once you've got a proper blog that's going, make sure that you promote it. You know, I mean, since you already have a business, you understand the fact that every product needs a promotion. So you can stipulate that maybe Monday is your blogging day and Friday you're promoting the blog. So whatever you wrote, you know, and then whenever you ship it out, you're promoting it. Because every, there's no point in you just writing and nobody coming to see it. So just consider your blog as one of your, your representatives of when you're not there. So it has to, you have to promote it just like you promote your other products, you know? And this is where your idea comes in, Justin. You can then share from the principal, you know, place to like Tumblr or to like all the other social media platforms because that's where the traffic is. And then from there, you invite the visitors to join your mailing list so that they're informed whenever something new comes from you. You know, just like when this video finishes, please subscribe to this show so that you are notified when I am online. You know, at the end of the day, you got to be putting out content there so that people know who you are get to trust you and then they get to know your side of the story and then they get to follow you and make a decision in their own time. Because if you're going out there and saying, hey, look at me, look at me, buy my stuff, buy my stuff, I think people are tired of that. So if you've got a question about how to properly create a blog using, you know, our content strategy to actually engage and then educate while inspiring 
and providing value and positioning yourself, just type in content in the, in the comments below and then we can have a chat and see where you are with your blog because you gotta be writing the basic language of Google. That's how you get found. You know what I mean? So if you follow these tips that I've just mentioned, it will help you develop a blog that actually creates, first of all, a conversation that takes your business to the next level. Because the blog is always going to be there no matter what. So people can always reference to it. People can always read it, share it. And in the process, they're delivering your message. And people get to know, like, and trust you. And the more people get to know, like, and trust you, the more business people get to start doing with you. All right? Everybody's coming to the internet to get information. So if you're the person that's providing that information, then you are way ahead of your competition. Because blogging and putting content out there is put into the too hard basket by a lot of people. In the meantime, I really, really appreciate you guys for tuning in. And if you um, have been watching this and you found value in this show, please share this episode. You know, it's no longer about, um, you know, a, a vanity for me. It's really out there to help people so that they too can be, do and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. I really want you to win. I really want you to have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. In the meantime, go on and have a fantastic weekend. And if you've got any questions that I can answer or if I can talk about, um, you know what I mean, D relating to how you can start scale and grow a business that's profitable and enjoyable. I'm your man. Let me be the one to answer those questions. In the meantime, have a fantastic day and thank you, 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 and you so much for tuning in. Bye for now.